amid stall talk over Wednesday night war and the October 11th dual roster draft. There's been understandably little discussion on Vince McMahon's least loved Big Four event hurtling towards us all alongside the crushing reminder that we will all soon be back in the roaring 20s. Despite often being cast as the weakest of WWE's blockbusters, the final showpiece supercard of the decade carries a certain expectation after the reinvention of the event since the 2016 brand extension. That year, the brands went to war in a blistering one-hour Raw vs. SmackDown elimination battle, whilst Goldberg shocked the world with 126 annihilation of Brock Lesnar. 2017 and 2018 up the ante, pitching all the respective title holders against one another. There were cases of bizarre brilliance as the Usus and the Bar fought for the first time. SmackDown Stewart's AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan took incredible runs at perennial Universal Champion Brock. Lesnar and Ronda Rousey's cancelled clash with Becky Lynch resulted in a banger replacement against Charlotte Flair and the likelihood of a women's WrestleMania main event finally coming to fruition. The Survivor Series matters again. The roster split doesn't matter 11 months of the year, but once a year it does because the nearly dead Thanksgiving tradition tells you so. Thankfully the card has done more for the gimmick than the lackluster promotion. Let's block ads. Why?